Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech DIY. In today's session, we are going to see Spring Boot, Timeleaf, Webflux, and MongoDB. This web application, uh, for this web application, we have referred uh, MK Young and uh, how to do in Java. Those two sites we have referred. And uh, apart from that, uh, we face several issues, and uh, those uh, sites we will cover uh, during while showing those issues. Okay, so with that uh, let's get started so in our spring initializer we are going to name the application as reactive time mongo and uh, in dependencies we are going to have spring reactive web and uh, reactive mongodb lombok and the other one is uh, uh, data reactive and spring time leaf so yeah it's downloaded and now we are ex importing it into uh, idea it's imported now and now we are going to see as we can see in the dependencies whatever dependencies we have added is, are added here and it has uh, our local has uh, loaded with all the dependencies local m2 and now we are going to have the packages so we are going to have packages as config con uh, controller and then we will have model and then we will have a uh, repository and for this tutorial to make it simple what we have done is we have in controller itself we have uh, uh, you know auto wired the repository and uh, from there itself we have written the logic if you want you can uh, you can decouple it and you can paste that logic in uh, you can have that logic in a server uh, in a separate service uh, package yeah so here first we are doing uh, going to do is we are creating mongo configuration if you remember uh, we have created this kind of same kind of configuration earlier while doing uh, web flux with mongo so uh, reactive abstract reactive mongo configuration we need to extend in our uh, application in our uh, local configuration and we need to enable the uh, and uh, enable mongo configuration reactive mongo configuration and there with uh, that we need to give the port and we need to give the db name base package we need to give the repository uh, folders rep repository package uh, in the base package uh, yeah and then we need to override these methods reactive mongo client get db name and the reactive mongo com uh, mongo template so those we need to override and uh, yeah that's pretty much of it and the reactive mongo template we need to add it here as a separate uh, as a add bean annotation so as we all know add bean annotation will be used to you know inject external dependencies uh, yeah so we are injecting that in our uh, application context yeah and uh, the next thing is we are writing webflux configurer uh, webflux configurer would be ha uh, having the enable webflux uh, at enable webflux and it should be implementing webflux configurer this configuration we are uh, blindly doing as we have done earlier uh, with uh, our earlier example of uh, webflux and mongo rest webflux mongo so same we repeated here and now we are creating our own repository movie repository so movie repository and uh, movie is our model object and uh, id is of type long so that's we have that's what we have given there and all the magic is happening because of uh, lombok so all the boilerplate code is removed here and we are having nice looking movie class sitting there with id name and uh, score type okay uh, yeah so here our model class is done repository is done uh, now next what next we should be writing our controller so our controller class we are going to have movie controller so in movie controller we are going to have uh, crud operations so first uh, we need to get uh, we, we are writing the get mapping to load all the uh, current movies uh, which we are getting from the DB uh, MongoDB loading in into the uh, into the flux object 
uh, and uh, showing to to show that uh, via thyme leaf templates so we need to uh, wrap it around with uh, reactive data driver context variable yeah so movie repository dot find all would be returning a flux of uh, movie object and that flux we need to you know wrap it around with uh, this uh, reactive data driver context variable so this will be read as it is in the java in the html template page okay so uh, we are going to create template uh, package uh, ideally when we add the starter uh, time leaf uh, it should uh, it should generate the templates uh, folder but it has not generated uh, not to worry we can create template uh, folder separately under resources so that's what we have done and uh, yeah we are writing the other uh, other paths and uh, methods for that so we are going to have edit slash edit or slash edit by id so these are the path variables we are going to add in this get mapping and uh, this uh, should be returning to add movies because uh, the same add movies page would be working for creating and updating of uh, of particular object uh, or movie object so what we are going to do is we are going to have a mono of this if id is already present we are checking if id is already present we should be ideally updating it so that's what we are doing here if it is already update, updated so we are uh, having a mono of that and we then that mono we are uh, setting as an attribute here because uh, this particular method create an update movie by id would be actually loading uh, the add movie uh, add movie page okay with the data if it is existing one or if we came from uh, edit path edit by id path then in that case uh, it should show it should load the movie from the database uh, by id and that uh, should be shown on the add movie page so that's what we are doing here and uh, now we are writing the delete so again delete by id so there are uh, out of the box methods available for that so we are going to use them and uh, for delete as we have uh, seen in the earlier previous example also uh, for delete and for save we need to subscribe uh, for the web flux so that's what we are doing here delete by id is out of the box method and then we have uh, done the sub dot subscribe because in the fl uh, flux we need to uh, we are actually doing the update operation so that's why update or delete should be uh, done and should be used subscribe so in the create also we can see uh, in case of create we are getting movie object and uh, that also while saving we are doing doing a subscribe so once we subscribe then only uh, flux or mono should would be actually uh, would be actually passed to db or you know underlying system otherwise uh, it won't do that yeah so that's all uh, and uh, now here we are creating JSP sorry not JSP HTML templates uh, UI templates we are creating uh, one is uh, all movies dot HTML and the other one is add movies uh, add movie dot HTML uh, so we are referring how to do in Java uh, URL which will be available in the uh, link will be available in the description section and uh, yeah uh, by adding timeleaf.org under our HTML tag we are having the we are using the you know uh, uh, timeleaf uh, tags or uh, the attributes of timeleaf tag like th switch th case you know so this is how we would be loading our uh, movie object here yeah so movie object we are loading and then we will be iterating over it movies object we are loading and iterating over movies object and similarly we will be having some buttons over there uh, like add movie or edit or delete uh, buttons so that we are copying that code that whole table part 
from the uh, URL itself as you can see so we have pasted it here and we are going to map it uh, instead of employee in our case it is movie so we are changing it as per our requirement yeah so once it is done uh, we are just uh, replacing all the employees <laughs> employee object with uh, movie objects and yeah now it is done so here ends our uh, uh, our first page uh, that is uh, first HTML template that is all movies template so when we click on it it should show uh, it should show us all the list of all the movies uh, from MongoDB from our database movies database yeah and uh, it should it should show uh, with editing and uh, deletion edit and delete options and as well as it uh, we should have an add button so all that we are doing here and uh, yeah that's pretty much of it uh, code you can see we are just uh, reflect changing it as per our requirement this is the add movie dot html so in this case uh, once we do the round trip i mean once we come from the edit uh, edit method we are actually loading this page so here we are uh, actually loading the movie object uh, and we are binding the html uh, controllers html controls like input and you know buttons and all to our actual object so movie object fields we have we have my uh, bind here with the uh, particular uh, ui so that's what we are doing here so once it is done i think uh, yeah so uh, basically in this scenario what is going to happen is we are going to uh, we are we are having a movies database uh, so we are uh, and uh, ui for that movies database so in movies uh, whenever we hit the url first url our home page is nothing but all the movies with their ratings corresponding ratings and uh, their title id title and ratings okay and then further uh, we can actually edit them and uh, update them or delete them or all CRUD operations we can do that there so yeah so we have started the server oops we got some white label error so what is the error okay it says server uh, get okay so for this let's see in our exam in our links so in this link it says the name should be resources slash templates in our case uh, we what we have done is we named it as template instead of templates human error so now we have corrected that and we are bouncing back the server and let's see this time it should uh, the error should go should be gone oops it's still there let's see what it says okay so on stack overflow i will share this link uh, with you guys so basically what it says is if we are using webflux and if we are using timelift together then we should not uh, use at enable webflux annotation in our case we have that annotation so we should remove that and now we have removed that let's see after removing it uh, we are bouncing back the server and uh, how it goes so now if everything is fine yep we are getting this uh, page this nice looking page we are adding few uh, movies there like uh, end games avengers end game and uh, we are adding uh, sadak 2 which is uh, last year's worst movie so we are giving rating as 000 and uh, yeah it is updated in the db whoop yippee let's see now further we will add few more records here or we will edit we are going to add few more records like our iron man or tanaji which is tenet yeah it was a nice movie so we are giving it 10 
and now next movie we are adding tanaji and we are going to give 10 score it was a really nice movie on uh, history and uh, vfx and everything was very good for this movie so we have given 9 to that and uh, end games we are up updating end games in comparison to tanaji so we have changed it to 9.5 and uh, yeah and that's what we are doing now let's try to delete it so we have deleted one record uh, and then let us uh, try to edit tenant so for tenant also we are giving 9.5 uh, we removed the sadak delete part <laughs> and yeah like share and subscribe like tech diy share tech diy so this way we are showing the edit part so at this point we should get at least uh, some subscribers yeah so next part is uh, auto generation so with uh, mongodb if we are using mongodb we cannot use generated values generated value annotation which is uh, the minus point here with mongo so this thing we need to do manually that is what this building site is showing to us so we can refer this and we can update this example uh, you can further add uh, auto generated uh, sequences for mongodb and uh, yeah that's pretty much of it so here ends yet another exciting session uh, playground session so thanks for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe uh, to our work and uh, until next time we'll come up with another exciting session bye bye enjoy life